everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to do another makeup haul makeup slash skincare slash hair care haul um there are so many products coming out on nika and i just want to test them out for myself and for you guys the jet setter sale is going on on nika and obviously i had to order a bunch of stuff so if you want to know what they are then please keep on watching so the first product i call for is a sunscreen this is the suncross matte finish spf 50 sunscreen I never use sunscreen I did not know the importance of a sunscreen um, until I watched Jeffree Star's video Jeffree Star was raving about how important it is to use sunscreen so I thought why not order for one and just wear it just as another step to protect my skin because it is so hot outside and I definitely feel my skin burning and a bunch of other things can happen to your skin if you don't use that protective layer and that's why I got this I just used it once so far um, it's not um, it it doesn't leave that film on your face that some sunscreens do it has this very nice moisturizing hydrating fe feeling this is how it is obviously you can't tell the difference on screen right now but it is sort of a mattifying finish it says matte finish over here it's very soft it's hydrating as well it's not um, that sticky oily sensation you get with a lot of other sunscreen so I really like it I wear this and then my moisturizer and then wait 15 20 minutes and then step out of the house so yeah I think I'm gonna incorporate a sunscreen into my skincare routine which I've been missing for all my life now this next product you guys are going to be really really excited about because I got so many requests and like DMs and everybody telling me to test this product out so I'm going to put it to the test. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I'm in the shade Warm Beige um, or so I think. I am going to test it out in another video but I definitely got this because I saw you guys asking for it. Um, this has really good reviews overall it's a really good foundation so I don't know until I test it out I don't know about the applicator I think it broke yeah I think this applicator did it break or I don't know this is how it came when I took it out like this is the applicator which is weird I think a, the spatula is inside or something I don't know but I'm gonna have to use it like this unsanitary I wish it had a pump or something like that but I'm gonna definitely test this out and give you guys my thoughts because I'm excited to try this as well My next product is a mascara. This is the L'Oreal Fall Slash Superstar Mascara. I used to love this mascara so much simply because it has a primer side as well. So when I apply this and then you go in with the second part which is the mascara, it sort of has something to cling on to which lifts your lashes and gives you a really nice long volumized lashes. I'm wearing this right now. I think it's really nice I enjoy this I don't know if I like it as much as my lash sensational but um, this is a really great mascara I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 on 5 but obviously you guys know I'm gonna test it out in a tutorial and let you guys see the full effect this next product I am really intrigued by this is the Lacme absolute blur perfect makeup primer I am just testing out so many primers these days so I thought why not call for one more I really like the shade of this it is not the usual whitish shade it, it has this pink hue to it I will show you up close right now so it's got this pink hue to it and I don't know I'm using this for the first time it feels very silicone-y there is some silicone base but it's definitely blurring my fine lines as I can see I don't know if you can tell but this is where I didn't apply it and this is where I applied it you can sort of tell the difference it's nice that it has sort of a tint to it because I think it's going to cancel out the discoloration on the skin so I'm very excited to try this let me read what it says behind the perfect start for a flawless professional makeup finish silky blur formula instantly brightens primes, soften blemishes and pores creating a smooth skin surface to prep for makeup application makeup glides on effortlessly and blends seamlessly for a more vibrant true color finish the perfect canvas for your makeup 
Okay, all of this sounds amazing. I'm definitely gonna give this a shot. Um, you guys know how much I love the L'Oreal primer in my previous video. I'm definitely excited to try this. The next product I got is a highlighter. I was telling you guys how I want more highlighters and I'm bored of using the same ones. So I called for the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the color 110 Watt. This is how it looks. It looks beautiful. I haven't tried it right now because I forgot I had it. So I put it on my body. It has this gold, sort of a gold flex if you can see when I turn my body. Um, so it looks pretty. I'm gonna just swatch it so you can see it up close. So I'm super excited to try this as well. I have been looking for a highlighter since a while and this looks like a good one since it's giving me, it's giving my body that really nice natural glow. It's not like blinding, but we're gonna test it out and I'm gonna let you know. This next product I have is a makeup remover. This is the second time I'm purchasing this. It is the Maybelline Micellar Water. I tried out the L'Oreal Micellar Water as well and I I don't see any difference between the two it's just that this is a little bit more inexpensive than that one um, and yeah it's the same it removes your makeup really easily there's no there's nothing special about any of this but I just needed a makeup remover and this came to my mind immediately I'm almost finishing my recent bottle so I'm just gonna replace it with this my next product is the freedom eyebrow pomade I wanted another brow product since, I mean, I was using Bang & Brunette for like, I don't know how long now, for like six to eight months, I don't even know. This is in the color Ash Brown, and that's what I'm wearing on my brows right now. It is the perfect color for my brows. It is so beautiful, um, not too dark, not too light. It's like the perfect color. Again, it's in the color Ash Brown. This is a good product I have nothing bad to say about this I will obviously wear all of this in future tutorials so you can see the application of the product but I just wanted to update you on what I got recently so you can check it out as well we're almost at the end of the video um, the next two products are lip products so first is the Milani lipstick this is in matte naked 61 that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now it is such a beautiful formula it's very creamy and it's matte like you can see up close is the creamy matte formula which I love if I'm wearing a liquid lipstick I will not go over top again because it's going to become crusty and just look very unpleasant I love lipsticks that come in tubes like this simply because um, I can just dab it on top of my liquid lipstick and be good to go um, it adds that moisture and, and just hydration that I need and it's not drying on the lips which I love It's a very cool toned pink, you know, it's a cool toned mauve pink color which is very rare to find. These sort of colors are really really interesting when you wear it um, and I think it looks very muted and it's a muted rosy rusty. I can give many names for this but it's like it's the perfect lipstick in a bottle. I am so excited that I called for this shade because it goes with everything. I think it goes with the nude eye, it goes with a smoky eye, it's really beautiful and so comfortable to wear on the lips which I love so much. I call for another lipstick. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Stockholm. I love these lip creams. They're so amazingly comfortable on the lips. Um, I'm just going to swatch it so you can see. It's a very nice corally peach color. Very good for daytime and basically college wear. So this is the color. It's really 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 beautiful. Love it. So again, that corally peach color which I am so digging this summer. I, I want to wear this so badly but I really love my Milani lipstick. So we're going to let it be. I'm going to try this in my next tutorial. The last product I have is a hair product. This is the Agaro Life Energized Hair Straightener. It's a hair iron. It's like a travel size hair iron. I have had travel size hair iron before and they were really not good, trust me. So this is it. I love the color firstly. Hair irons are so boring. Sometimes they come in black and gray. 
it's really boring i used to love the animal print and the stripes and like all I i'm still a baby girl i know but this is a hot fuchsia pink which i love and it is so tiny which is perfect for travel i did test this out and it works usually they don't work they're really harsh in this on the hair but it really works and it's inexpensive as well all the price and like everything will be listed down below so definitely check it out this is very good for first time users who are not used to hair irons but find it difficult to use super lightweight easy to travel with and yeah i think i really like it so that's all i have for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video i am really enjoying testing out new products and letting you guys know because then you can order it during the sale i think sales are the best time to order makeup cuz makeup can get expensive i love you guys so much leave a comment down below if you've tried this any of these products before or if you're excited to try any of the products that i mentioned everything will be listed in the info box down below so don't forget to check that out i love you and i will see you in my next video bye guys